Oh, well, that's a stunning point. And those are the points that Kamiji needs. Nice. It's very, very hard to recover. You're coming in. She's got to commit to probably just coming forward. Oh. Well, she's learned from bitter experience. Yes. That's terrific. That's and it. the ball down the line, yeah. Joe, which looked like it had punched yeah, a hole. If you look at this backhand right here, the high backhand and the angle she creates from there really set up the point, and then she's got time to get around it. Special tennis and the finish at the net. Set up that point as well. She had Kamiji going side to side at least four to five times. And then when she got the shorter ball, that's where she strangles the opponent, moves in and has an easy volley. Break points for Kamiji, plentiful. Well, well, the serve is not functioning for Dida de Groot at the moment. Oh, lovely. T serve. And the second serve is picked off. I, have, I mean, I've been watching. I have not seen her this out of sorts for a long time, so... I'm going to be interested to see how she can really recover here. Big chance here. Oh. Wow. Well, the show of irritation, I'm not surprised from the 25-year-old. Punished again on second serve. Gets around it, back's already turning towards. Yeah, just another unforced error. We're seeing 13 unforced errors so far. She's got it. Yeah, definitely the momentum there, but she needed it for her confidence just as much. And just, again, that ball there, I mean, she would like that probably another foot inside that sideline. Still caught it slightly. That's brilliant. Depth and an angle, and again, she's having to feed off scraps here to group. That second serve is not doing the job. She's taking full advantage of it, too, being able to... I mean, she takes that ball above her head, and the depth and power she gets. Really got to focus on that first serve and do something a little bit different.
Super down the line from Dida de Groot. It's having to be that good. And she's having to, when she's winning these points here, she's not winning them easily. She's having to hit the outside, or well, just the inside of the line. That's gorgeous tennis. Those winners that she's hitting are really close to the line. There's another. The journey back is well underway. A rally. Hang in that exchange. That's the best rally we've seen so far. Use the use of the angles and that I said earlier, her speed and her consistency are the two strengths, right? That's not coming back. 30, 50. jumped on that could sense the danger the group was able to serve was great this angle but she was able to really cut off the angle The defending champion is in trouble here in Flushing Meadows. That's a terrific set from Yui Kamiji, whose consistency has been the key. The lack of it in terms of the serve, particularly the absence of first serves for Dida de Groot, was the problem. And that's why Kamiji has the opening set. and when it's fired has worked Blowing delightfully team. today. Wow, this is about as best as I've seen Kamiji play too. Um, but she's really taking the balls when she can on the rise on that one bounce and hitting through that forehand. She took that backhand, had to thread the line for it to go in. Of course, there is still time for the top seed and she will know that too. What a finish. By dint of the consistency of the number two seed, Kamiji, but also... Fantastic return. Last rally before the one we just saw was 21, 21 shots. Kamiji had to work so hard finishing with that forehand, but then 
serve from Kamiji and De Groot's going for it. Beautifully done. And look at the pace as she wheels to change, at change end. She's got the momentum she wanted. Is a real turnaround and a welcome one for her. She is swinging and hitting her targets at the moment. She's still got to stay. You know, I think that drop shot actually tried to show how she doesn't have the confidence that she actually needs. That will do. Uncharacteristically high from Dida de Groot. Beautiful forehand again. Some four forehand winners already. A mighty front runner she can be. Never mind professional sport. That backhand, yeah. though, is going to pay some bills, isn't it? Tried to change it up with the slice, but... De Groot relentless in her examination of the Kamiji backhand there. Beautiful forehand. We see her roll around here looking for that forehand. Gets around it. And again, great shape. And, and they can both feel it. You can see that. Too strong, too good. It started with the serve first strike and she didn't let it go, De Groot. Brilliant point. Beautiful play, both opening up the court. Kamiji is able to hit so much heavy spin and really keep De Groot back. And then as soon as Kamiji is getting that short ball, she's pushing in just like we see there and really flattening out that forehand. Well, it was such good defense from Kamiji, but in truth, she was under pressure. It did, and you could see in the point who's trying to control that point. See De Groot more on top of the baseline, Kamiji's pushing back. Casually brilliant from Dida de Groot. Just wafting her racket. Fabulous counter punching from Yui Kamiji. Beautiful backhand here, push right through it. See the strength in the arm as she takes that ball on the rise.
sweet finish from Dida de Groot. Another grueling exchange between these two. Win one of those longer points to gain her confidence back. Still having to hit the lines to win the points. I mean, again. And Yui Kamiji cannot exploit that. Deuce. And another double fault allows Yui Kamiji to start making her way back in this second set. Well, the expression says much. <gasps> Starting to exert a grip on this set. Rhythm on that first serve, though, not yet. Disappeared again. And that's what happens when you expose the second serve. We've seen that. Stunning. Just stunning return. See how far out in front they have to hit that backhand with that grip. The group made sure she wasn't. Stretching De Groot to breaking point. One bounce, and that's how she's won so many of the points and has 14 winners so far in this match. An emphatic response. From the defending champion, Six games to one. the challenge was a strong one in the opening set from Yui Kamiji, but Dida de Groot has found her way back here. Oh, the battle lines are drawn with the very first point of the final set. That was a marathon. That was a great point. Both of them just really looking to take the first cut and really break through there. Classic De Groot there, beautiful forehand cross court.
Beautifully done. Just held off for Kamiji just to make her move, anticipating the cross court ball, which never came. Reaching and was just out of sorts a little bit. The same thing happened on that last forehand. What a return. Especially as we look at the results with De Groot looking for her fifth win here. Too good. There's a plot twist. All about the depth in the early part of the exchange to get that short ball. Backhand to backhand though, it's a different story. Fifteen. That's made the line. <laughs> it looked from this angle as if it was going out, but she had so much spin on it, it curled it. See this from here from the outside again, that reverse backhand basically had her back turned to the court as she finishes the swing. The length from Kamiji was just outstanding. We're seeing this consistently. It's a it's a path that we're seeing, and we're seeing a push back and then move forwards and flatten it out. Too good again with an absolute belter cross court. Took it early. Muscular tennis from Dida de Groot. And Hotman's looking on there, just doing a little nod of approval on that forehand. She likes that forehand. It's a great angle, great shape. She will take it. She'll feel she earned it in that exchange, and I think she probably did. Penetration too good. Ridiculous defense from Kamiji to stay in that point as long as she did. Sensational return. Oh, she's missed it. That's so unlucky. She's <laughs> she has. You've got to give it to her. She has really her her defense has been fantastic.
too muscular again from De Groot. She has in this third set. She's really cut down on her mistakes here. We've seen that play so many times, executed to perfection there. This ball right on the line, there's so little De Groot can do with it. And look at the anticipation, taking that early. No way back for the defending champion. Cool as you like under pressure. And only winning 25% of those, so it's a complete switch from set one with the group. Lot 30. So clever. As De Groot prepared to end that point. Yeah, she just saw that she was in trouble, moved in, was not going to let that ball bounce twice. And again, classic, great shape on the ball, open court. Very, very special. A special moment in time that I'm not sure the juniors realize. Oh. And there is the break again for De Groot. Unforced errors from Kamiji. I mean, they are amazing numbers. They are. She's played a really good match. She just hasn't been able to do that consistently. Lights are flashing now in the mind of Yui Kamiji. Cannot afford. Oh. Well, the key to success is that Dina de Groot's played this match on her own terms has definitely turned in her favor. Game to grow. Well, surely now the mountain is going to be too big of a climb for Yui Kamiji. Finding wide open spaces now in a way she just wasn't able to in the opening set. Tick in the last two sets, Joe, it really hasn't been. No, absolutely not. Lovely. That forehand again. Oh. 
Dida de Groot is the women's wheelchair singles champion for a fifth consecutive year at the US Open. And once again, the battle from Yui Kamiji is mighty in the final. She pushed the champion all the way, but the world number one found a way. That is the key. And that's why she is the world number one. That's why she has five US Opens. She has the Grand Slam this year. Um, and that's why she's undeniably our world number one right now.